I am here making a homeschool video on my 10 year old son. He has epilepsy, ADHD, and autism. And this is what we do. This is what we did on Monday. We did not do any on Tuesday because Tuesday he started occupational therapy back again for sensory needs and hand strength. And we just didn't get any schoolwork done that day because it was overwhelming for him. So this is what we did on Monday. We did Sacrifice Adventure. We did chapter. 16, I think. We only have like two more chapters left. There's only 18 chapters. I highly recommend this. It's all about zoology. Talk about different animals. And if you want a science that breaks each thing down, it doesn't happen like learning biology, uh, zoology, animals one day and then rain the next day and then it's all over the place. These are really good books. And they come with workbooks and coloring pages. We did the coloring pages. Tried the workbook. That wasn't his thing. But I do get the teacher's guide with the quizzes so that he can do the quizzes the first year we read the book. This is our second year reading it, so we have no quizzes, but we did quizzes the first year. And he passes flying colors. Um, we did green, it, this green day. And it's combining these to make words. Well, we hold it like this. Like this to combine words. This is from the travel book from school zone workbook there's a preschool a kindergarten and a first grade and we are doing the first grade he finished a sticker book page he loves doing sticker books and the one we're currently working in is this one so we did he did this page he absolutely loved this book he's about this far into it and it's just we move on to another one because they have a whole bunch of these already they got like dollar spot and places i found them really cheap he did some curious George coloring. Um, what did he do? What did he color? A page. What did he color? He colored this page. He's a one color kind of person. You have to kind of like redirect him to use a different color. But he did some curious George. I got this off of Amazon. Uh, Massey's. Math 1, you can get off their website or Amazon. It's, poor, it's part of Reading Eggs app and website. So, they have workbooks for 1 and 2. They have 3 on the website, but you have to print the worksheets for 3. Or you can print the worksheets for 1 and 2 if you don't want to spend money on a workbook. And we did... We did this quiz. And he is done with map 20. All he has left to do is some review. And then he'll move on to the second grade math. We are not going to wait. We are just going to move right on into it. Into it. I will show you the book second grade math here. We got the practice makes perfect from math lessons for a living education. This is where you do the big lesson in this book. And then you do the extra packet sheets here, and there's quizzes in here. We did this last year with level one, but he finished level one before Massey. So what I do is I just give him both at the same time. And whichever one he finishes first, we put aside, and then he will finish that one. And then he'll start the next grade with them all together. Um, the reason he finished this one first is just because he was struggling a lot. So we, we would only do one math a day. Like, you do this math first, and then that math. And then the, and the math seeds, but they have different levels and different, le how many lessons they have, so one will definitely be finished first. And then he will, he will also use um, book two for math seeds. He's also going to be still working in, which he doesn't do every day, he only does it once in a while, the big book of math from school day. Highly recommend this as extra practice or is struggling with something, I highly recommend this. That is everything he'll be doing for second grade. Great math. Once he finishes, he was also working in kindergarten just to finish it up because we never did. We're just doing some um, looking for rectangles and triangles. We're just trying to finish this up. He has the first grade one and the third grade one, so we're just finishing this up and we will do the first grade one. We don't do it every day. That's why it takes a little while to finish one. But I don't really care. And I like having a few things that grade below just when he's struggling. So I can say, was well, it something easy? Get his motivation up. We also have Curious Story Kindergarten. 
I think we did character preschool, which I thought was kindergarten. We did kindergarten, I think it's first grade. And first grade, I think it's second grade. But they have, a, they have preschool, kindergarten, first grade. You can judge what level you think we're at. And we are currently working on the story about picnic. Yeah, about a picnic on the beach. And playing at the beach. And we're working on that. So, all the things we do are things around it. Doesn't like to draw if he can help it. So, sometimes he'll just write his name and it says to, to draw himself there. But other than that, we did really well. We have really, really loved it. We're about that far into it. When we're done, we will move on to the first grade one. So, everything we're doing right now, we will just move on to the next grades if we have it or be done with it. Because at this point, he should be in second grade, but we've been struggling to get things done, and we had the flu, so we're just going at his pace that he can handle, because I'm not going to but push him and have him have a meltdown. So, if you homeschool with special needs kids, tell me how you get them to do more than an hour of schoolwork, because since he has the flu, he's refusing to do it more than an hour of schoolwork. So, let me know. Thank you. Have a great day.